hi dear students this is our fifth tutorial of the concentration series and in this very tutorial we will talk about normality normality is number of gram equivalents of solute per liter of solution or in a more general way it can also be said that the moles of reactive units of solute per liter of solution in order to understand normality uh, we first need to understand both these concepts of what are reactive units and what are gram equivalents or simply equivalents of solute so a reactive units for example, the reactions could be acid base reactions, redox reactions, or precipitation reactions where normality is normally used. In acid base reactions, protons or H positive ions or hydronium ions are reactive units, or hydroxyl ions could be the reactive units. For example, one molecule of HCl yields one proton. So the reactive unit per molecule is 1. On the other hand, if we use sulfuric acid, each molecule of sulfuric acid is yielding 2 protons or 2 hydronium ions. So the reactive units are 2 here. In redox reactions, reactive units are electrons lost or gained by certain species. For example, this very reaction where zinc is reacting with copper ions and is converted into zinc ions and copper positive one cuprous. So each zinc atom is losing two electrons to become Zn positive two. It is oxidized by the loss of two electrons. So we can say that the reactive units in case of zinc are 2 and reactive unit in case of copper is 1 because copper is here in positive 2 oxidation state and here is in positive 1 oxidation state which means that each copper positive 2 ion is gaining 1 electron so reactive unit is one here similarly in the precipitation reactions the cations which are precipitated or anions that are precipitated could be the reactive units another important term here is the number of gram equivalents and number of gram equivalents can be explained here and these number of gram equivalents they also depend upon reactive units which are involved in a chemical reaction and it can be explained by means of this very example here uh, for example you have H2SO4 molecular mass is 98 and reactive units of H2SO4 when it is reacting as an acid are 2 because it yields 2 protons. So molar mass divided by reactive units 98 divided by 2 equals 49. This is the equivalent weight of sulfuric acid and it is also called as gram equivalent mass so in this case 49 gram is the equivalent weight when sulfuric acid is acting as an acid in acid base reaction and this equivalent weight is used to calculate gram equivalents so the formula could be the number of gram equivalents of any species equals mass of that substance 
divided by equivalent mass so equivalent mass in case of sulfuric acid is 49 gram why because it has two reacting units and molar mass divided by reacting units gives the equivalent weight if the reacting unit is 1 then the molar mass is the equivalent mass so number of gram equivalents they are equal to mass of the substance which is given divided by its equivalent mass so for example if we want to calculate for say sulfuric acid we have 10 grams of sulfuric acid so 10 divided by equivalent mass of sulfuric acid which is 49 the number of gram equivalents are 0 0.204 gram equivalents this is how gram equivalents are calculated and these gram equivalents of the solute per liter of solution is actually normality and is uh, denoted by capital N and this can also be written as moles of reactive units per liter because gram equivalents are actually the moles of reactive units in case of redox reactions it can also be understood by means of this very equation here as zinc in this particular reaction loses two electrons so for zinc the reactive units are two if we want to calculate equivalent mass of zinc in this particular reaction then we can say 65 is the atomic mass of zinc divided by a reactive units which are two electrons is equal to 32.5 so 32.5 is the equivalent mass 32.5 gram is the equivalent mass of zinc in this particular reaction where the reactive units are 2 so if we have 20 gram of zinc given mass of zinc and we want to calculate number of gram equivalents of zinc in these 20 grams then we need to divide this 20 by 32.5 which is the equivalent mass of zinc in this particular reaction and we are getting this 0.615 gram equivalents or equivalents in 20 gram of zinc this is how it can be calculated number of electrons based similarly for copper because each copper ion is accepting one electron so a reactive unit for copper is one and that's why the equivalent mass will be equal to its ionic mass which is 63.5 in this case n is equal to one d is expressed by capital n and it's used in acid base redox and precipitation reactions where the reactive units are involved and species can have different normality in different reactions as we have seen it depends upon number of reacting units so a specific reactant can provide different number of reactive units in different reactions so normality can be accordingly calculated and moles of reacting species are considered rather than moles of solute so we are interested in moles of reacting species here 
uh, in this particular uh, concentration. A normality is a multiple of molarity. If n is normality and m is molarity, so m multiplied by x will give you normality and x could be 1, 2 or 3. Uh, for example, sulfuric acid which is a dibasic acid and has two protons and it can yield two protons in an acid base reaction. Uh, so x is equal to 2. So if H2SO4 is one molar and x in this very case is 2, so normality of this sulfuric acid will be 2. In case of HCl x is equal to 1 because it can yield one proton so normality and molarity will be same because x is 1. And the advantage of using normality concentrations is that that if you have equinormal solutions of reactants I mean both reactants have the same normality then equal volumes will react to complete that reaction and interestingly uh, normality is not quite often used nowadays it's a kind of an outdated this very slide explains the relationship of molarity and normality for example if we have one molar sulfuric acid that will be equal to two normal sulfuric acid why because each sulfuric acid molecule has two protons which are reactive units so the equivalent weight will be molar mass divided by number of reactive units furnished which are two and 98 is the molar mass divided by two equals 49 grams similarly the number of gram equivalents per mole are two because of these reactive units if we need to calculate the normality of a sulfuric acid solution if it is acting as an acid in an acid base reaction and 20 grams of sulfuric acid is dissolved per liter so we have mass of sulfuric acid in grams and volume of solution in liters and in order to calculate normality so mass in grams divided by equivalent mass which is 49 in case of sulfuric acid so 0 0.408 gram equivalents because the solution volume is 1 liter so 0 0.408 gram equivalents per liter equals 0 0.408 normal this is the normality of sulfuric acid solution so we want to calculate molarity this normality multiplied by 2 will be equal to molarity of the solution. In our next tutorial we will talk about dilution and you can stay connected by subscribing our channel. Thank you.